everyone good morning it is saturday it is peg city lovely here live on location at polo park mall guess why we're here look at all the people look at this fine specimen right here it's big brother canada season four casting here in winnipeg they're looking for house guests is it gonna be you i don't know but you need to get down here between 10 and 2. but before we even start let me let me tell you about a little someone named johnny okay johnny was on season three He's fabulous. I love him. I can't wait to talk to him. And I'm so excited. How about you? I'm so pumped. This is so awesome that Winnipeg finally gets their chance to audition for Big Brother. I had to leave and go to Calgary and Regina to audition in season one and three. And now it's here. And now we're going to get some homegrown Winnipeggers, Manitobans in the Big Brother Canada hey, for house. Right. Woo! All right. Woo! See, that's what we're talking about. Winnipeggers know how to do this, people. Anyways. I do have to say that for the, the listeners and the readers that don't know about Big Brother, how would you describe the show? Big Brother is like a social experiment unlike any other. 16 strangers in a house living under constant surveillance. You're strapped to a microphone, zero privacy, and you have to live together. You struggle for power to vote each other out of the house, and ultimately you're paying for a $100,000 prize. Big Brother is crazy and is insane, and it takes the biggest personalities in order to do well in Big Brother. And he definitely has personality. Do you not see this man right here? We're going to be best of friends after this interview. Just saying. Lie. Just saying. <laughs> so, okay. 16 people in house, all together, madness. How do you deal with the fact that you have no access to the outside world? It's crazy. It's so weird being disconnected, not having a phone to, to text someone, to check social media. I was big on social media before, you know, and you don't have any of that. So you're, you're, you have to just build relationships with the people you are in the house with. Get to know them. Get to know what makes them tick. How can you use that to your advantage, you know? Can you take a vulnerability someone has and use it against them? Um, and so that's really what you have to do in there. There's so much downtime in the house. You compete in competitions and everything like that, but at the same time, there's just lots of time where you're just sitting around. And it's those times that you need to use to leverage your your position in the game so that you go further see now i'm all about this game now because my daughters okay they are addicted i would say <laughs> to big brother so i was like a newbie i was a virgin a big brother virgin but now i know everything about big brother however i do want to ask you was there any i wish i would have moments over the season uh, not I wish I would have. I have zero regrets on how everything played out. I think what ended up happening was big alliances formed right off the hop and I wasn't a part of them. So if I have anything that I would do differently is I would make sure that I'm in those alliances next time. I'm not going to wait for someone to come approach me. I'm going to go to them and be like, hmm, I want to be in your alliance. You need to put me in there with you. Uh, and then you're not on the outside. I was constantly on the outside trying to work my way in, which made things difficult for me. So that was challenging. So that's the only thing I would probably do differently. But with this personality, come on. Who would want to be his best friend and align with him? Come on. Anyways, I know we don't have lots of time because people are in line. They want to meet you. They want to talk to you. Tell me what are the characteristics for these folks here in line that they need to have if they want to be the Winnipeggers representing Big Brother Canada. Big energy, big personality. You don't have a lot of time to stand out, so you need to stand out immediately. You need to catch their attention and you need to leave them wanting more. The people who get leave them wanting more are the ones that get to come back and they get to keep going through this casting process that's just crazy and insane. So that's what these people need to keep in mind. They need to know who they are, they need to sell that to them, they need to be funny, they need to be witty, they need to be charming, all those things to charm the pants off the casting producers. You heard it, folks, okay? However, However, we do want to ask one question. This one's from Cece, my daughter, okay? She just said, how has life been since Big Brother for you? Life has been pretty crazy, I'm not going to lie. I can't even go grocery shopping without getting recognized. So uh, I went to Big Brother as a no one, and I came back, and I'm recognized absolutely everywhere. It's insane. And the love and support from Winnipeggers, from Manitobans, from Canadians, and from people all over the world is actually crazy. People reach out on social media, and it's like, whoa, this is insane, you know? And I love it. I absolutely love it. I love all these people. I was a fan of the show before. I'm going to continue to always be a fan, and I, I love what Big Brother is. I'm even more of a fan now because I got to talk to this guy. So anyways, folks, today, 10 to 2, Polo Park Mall, Winnipeg. We need some house guests for Big Brother Canada casting season four. Get down here. Johnny says, you have what it takes. So bring your butts and bring it for Winnipeg. See ya. Ah, woo. <laughs>